Hello and welcome to my tutorial today. I'm showing you how to change Google Classroom banner to suit your classroom needs or maybe the style of your classroom that you're after. So some of us may find that the existing um, themes in Google Classroom may be quite boring or not suit our classrooms. So I'm going to show you today how to create your own or how to use another image um, to put into your Google Classroom banner. So let's start off by looking at using an image that already exists. So we can go to Google search for what you're after so for me i'm in a music classroom so i'm looking at the o2 arena make sure it's set at large because it needs to be over 800 by 200 pixels and make sure it's labeled for ease make sure you can use it again within your classroom so you can find a picture that you like so maybe i might like this one um, and it's over the 800 by 200 so i'm going to right click and save image as and call it o2 um, and save it. Now go to my Music Master Classroom there, upload photo and drag that directly in. Now it's going to ask me how, what part of the image I want to put on the Google Classroom banner because this is bigger than the um, allocated allowance of 800 by 200. So I might like that bit there and click Select Class Theme. Then you can see the banner at the top then changes to that photo. So that may be what you're after. But if you're not and you want to create your own with your own Bitmoji, stay tuned. Let's look at how to do that. So Alice Keeler, who's a great um, innovator and trainer for Google, she has a template on her website, which I'll leave a link to below. And by clicking on it, it's going to ask you to make a copy, which you can. By clicking Make a Copy, it will open up in Google Drawings. You want to rename that straight away. So you can just put Google Classroom Header. Now you may not like this blue colour, and that's an easy that's easy to change. You can right click on there, it says background, and you can choose from all these colours here. So my, I may like a lighter blue like that. Now you could add text, shapes, or images to this, or you could add your bitmoji. So if you've got the bitmoji in uh, add-on installed, you can click on that. Now I'm going to put something like uh, welcome to music because that's my department. So I could type welcome. Now I'll see all the different bitmojis for welcome. I quite like this one here, so I'll drag that in. And it will automatically be the size of the page. Make sure it's on the very left there. Make sure that the markers are lined up to make sure it's parallel. Then I could put in a text box in the middle here with the word to. I'm going to create mine that says welcome to music. So I'm going to make that white because that will stand out in the background and make the text around 200. The text box in so it's nice and tidy. Make sure it's in the middle by lining up these two red lines. And then look at Bitmoji again for music. So I may decide I quite like um, this one here. Or I may like, let's go with music like that one. Let's drag it on again, drag it to be the right size, there we go, fantastic. So this banner is the exact size of Google Classroom's header, so let's look at how to download that. So let's click File, Download as PNG Image. When you click Download, it will appear down here on your Chrome bar. You can go to Google Classroom, Upload Photo, drag that directly in. Select how much of it you want to see. Now you can select all of this because this is the exact size of 800 by 200 specified by Google Classroom. Select class theme and boom, there you go. We've got our own personalized banner at the top of Google Classroom. I hope that helps some of you and helps um, you to be creative within your classroom. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel, share with friends and colleagues and turn on my notifications. Thank you, take care.